Hey there guys, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Hope you're all doing well. For this episode, we're going to be taking a look at all the gear that I'm using with our next overnight adventure. And of course, that adventure doesn't have a name yet because we usually I name it once the trip is over. And you know, there's always something a little special about each trip. You know, so I'm sure this is going to be the same way. But for this episode, we're going to go over the gear that's inside of our Kelty Red Wing 50 pack. Oh yeah. Pretty awesome pack, very budget friendly pack. And you know what, guys, I'm really impressed. I, you know, of course, we'll be testing this pack out tomorrow and we'll see how impressed I am then. But just from loading this pack up, I like it, I really do. Especially for the price that I paid for it, a little bit less than 50 bucks or so. Uh, you know, man, that's, that's top notch. But you guys might wanna grab a beverage. Uh, it's a little bit too late for coffee for myself. So I may have some water, but uh, we'll get started. So to start here, we have the Red Wing 50 pack, like I said before. This is 3,000 cubic inches worth of space. And you know what? This comes in at three pounds, five ounces. So it's not too heavy. I put it on, I've you know, kind of worn it around the house a little bit, and it's pretty comfortable too. Now once we start climbing the mountains, and actually getting some of this, this pack weight really pulling down on these shoulder straps. We'll see how comfortable it is. But uh, so far, my impressions are really good, uh, especially when you consider the price of these bags. Uh, on Amazon, they go for about $89, something like that. I found this pack on Sierra Trading Post, and I don't remember if I paid $60 for it or $50 for it, but right around there with some coupons, got a really good deal on it. Heck, it could have been even about $40, but... Um, Guys, you know, if you're looking for a budget-friendly pack, this just might be the ticket. And of course, we'll test it out some more, and we'll find out for sure. But, of course, I mean, it's definitely holding all the gear that I needed for this overnight adventure, and there's still plenty of space left. Uh, as I said before, this pack weighs 3 pounds, 5 ounces, and for our trip, fully loaded, food, water, tent, sleeping bag, all that good stuff. 17 pounds. 17 pounds, guys. That is definitely probably the lightest trip of the year so far. So, and it's also going to be one of the colder nights that we've had. Um, the forecasts are for about temperatures in the 40s. It'll be high around 75 tomorrow. So, uh, gosh, it's going to be cool at night. It's going to be awesome. So, we're going to have a blast. We might as well start breaking into this, and I'll tell you more about the gear that we got. We definitely have some new things that we're testing out that I'm excited to show you. We will go ahead and start right here with this front little pocket, and we have Blackberry Playbook. That's right. Bring in a movie, and our uh, choice of movie is pretty fitting concerning what's going on in the world with wars and rumors of wars and so on. I'll tell you more about this in the actual camping video, but uh, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. And maybe some of you guys have seen it, maybe not, it's an old one, but uh, it should be pretty good. That's, uh, that's all for that pocket right there. Okay. The knife we'll be testing out is the Mora Bushcraft, also known as the Mora Black. Super nice. I have to say that I really like the balance on this knife. It has a good weight to it. Uh, nice blade length. A little bit more than four inches long. Uh, 3.2 millimeters thick. Definitely quite a bit thicker than the other Moras. I don't know. I think this is a winner right here. We'll be testing this out. Of course we have our food bag and we have all the typical typical stuff here. We have our light, our fire spoon. Uh, we have breakfast, coffee, snacks, barbecue baked beans. The only thing that is missing is our entree and I'll be showing that to you guys in our actual camping video. It's going to be something a little bit different. Of course we have our fire kit, typical stuff. Uh, plenty of you know systems for lighting fire. I have a solid fuel cube in here, some magnesium shavings, uh, my ferro rod, a lighter, so on and so forth. Anytime that I'm going out and, you know, it doesn't matter what the conditions are supposed to be, I always have multiple ways to start a fire. If it's wet, I'll be able to start a fire. 
If I lose my lighter, I'm going to be able to start a fire. And of course, we have our first aid kit, extra batteries for the headlamp, a um, couple of photon lights, uh, toilet paper, toothbrush, toothpaste, all that good stuff. Typical stuff, really. I always make sure to carry moleskin in my first aid kit. That's a product that, I don't know how much I've talked about it, but it is a lifesaver, especially if you're doing distance hiking. <laughs> Nothing is worth more than moleskin. For that pocket, that's all we got. We'll go ahead and undo the compression straps here on each side. And we'll go into the contents of the bag. What we have here is a little frying pan. <laughs> I'm not even sure where I got this from. It looks like an old Boy Scout cooking kit or something. But uh, I figured I'll take this out and see how well it does. may have something to do with what we're uh, eating. I'm not saying. This bad boy right here is one of my favorite sleeping pads. Self-inflating, has a really good R value, 3.8, weighs just a little bit more than a pound. Uh, it's a little expensive, it's about $100, but very worth it. You know, I mean, it really feels sturdy. It doesn't feel like you're going to pop a hole in it anytime soon. And this is the Thermo Rest uh, Pro Light Plus, and it is awesome. I really do like this thing. Very comfortable, too. We'll go ahead and talk about our cooking kit right here, in addition, of course, to that frying pan. But uh, we actually have a stove in here, and I'm pretty excited to show this off to you guys. Let me move the camera a little bit. Here we go. You guys may have seen the actual cooking kit before. This is a Primus Trekker cooking set. Pretty nice, all in all. But that's not the star of this uh, kit right here. Right here, guys. This is the Solo wood stove. This is a dual combustion stove. Absolutely awesome. Offers that secondary combustion. Uh, very efficient. Does very, very well according to the reviews, of course. As you can see, I haven't actually used this yet. But uh, you know what? It's time to get this out. This is the Solo stove. And this thing is pretty darn sick. Burns wood. Very, very nice. Can boil 32 ounces of water in about 8 to 10 minutes, according to what I've read. And of course, we'll be testing that out tomorrow ourselves. This bad boy comes in at 9 ounces. Weighs almost nothing. And this is hardened uh, 304 stainless steel. Very, very sturdy. And of course, if you guys are interested in one of these, uh, they cost about, I don't know, 70 bucks, I believe. They do have a bigger model called the Titan, and that's about 100 And I'm pretty interested. I'm going to see how well this does. I might actually pick up the Titan because it's just a little bit bigger and, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more versatile, depending on if you're uh, having some people with you, camping, whatever. But uh, I like what I see here. I really do. This right here is the Primus Trekker kettle, and it comes in two parts. You have this right here. And you have this little cup up here. This is really more of a frying pan, but for me, I don't know. I, I guess you could definitely use it. To me, it's more of a cup. I'll put my coffee in this, oatmeal in this in the morning, something like that. But uh, these two go together like peas and carrots. Perfect match for size and, and weight, too. I mean, together, 19 ounces. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, you know what? I like it. It's super cheap. This is only like about 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, you know, weighs only 10 ounces. Not bad, huh? Now these do rattle around. So I take this uh, piece of washcloth, which I will use to actually wash this up once I'm done. Of course, the best I can. But I use this to kind of silence it. When I'm hiking around, I don't like to be making a whole lot of noise. So as you can see there, what an awesome little kit. Now of course, the only thing about this kit that I don't like is this really crappy <laughs> stowing bag that comes with it. It is such a tight fit for this right here. I mean, it's almost a pain in the butt to actually cram it in there. 
it takes a little bit of time, even it takes a little bit of time getting it out as well. It's just barely big enough. So that's it for our cooking set. Not too bad. All right, guys, we're moving on still. Our tent will be the Nemo Meta One Person Tent. And this is an ultra light tent. This comes in at a little bit less than two pounds by itself. Of course, you would use one of your trekking poles with it. But since I'm, I don't use trekking poles all that often, I do have an actual pole that's made for this tent. I don't know how much this weighs. I would have to get out the scale and measure it, but it's, I mean, it's super lightweight. So, also, I have the footprint. And all together, this bad boy right here is still less than three pounds. So, that's pretty incredible. I'm really excited to test this out. I've heard a lot of good things about it. And of course, I like Nemo, as you guys know. I have a lot of their products. It's bomber gear, man. Nemo rocks, in my opinion. Also, I should say that this tent right here goes for about $350 online, but that's not what I paid for it. I got this for less than $150 off a of Sierra Trading Post with the use of some coupons. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Our sleeping bag is the LaFuma GR 40 degree synthetic bag. As you guys can see here, man, that doesn't take up much space. This comes in at two pounds, three ounces. Take a look at this. I mean, I could really cinch that thing down small if I wanted to. You know, not too bad. We'll see how comfortable it is when the temperatures dip to about 45 uh, tomorrow. That's not too bad. I think that's, it says the comfort rating is 48 degrees, transitions 40, and extremes 14. So I think it's saying that I should be somewhat warm. I, I don't know. We'll find out. But, uh, you know, it's got some pretty good reviews on the internet. I do like LaFuma pretty good. So we'll be testing this out and we'll see. On the internet, you can purchase this bag for about $85. I found this on theclimb.com and I used a coupon and I got it for about 40. So for that price, 40 degree bag, synthetic, that small, that compressible, I think I lucked out, but we'll see soon enough. All right, for the main compartment of that bag, that's it. We have two more sections to go. Right here I have a Polar Max shirt, and this is basically just a base layer. This will be just for the morning time. This will help me keep me uh, warm. Like I said, it's supposed to be mid 40, so that's kind of cool. We're getting there, folks. It'll be snowing soon enough. For our last pocket and our last bit of gear, we have a 32 ounce stainless steel uh, canteen. This is from the Pathfinder School or store, whatever you want to say. And uh, you know what? I really do like this. Very, very nice. And this is what we'll have our water in. But of course, when we go to our camping spot, we'll have that much water in it. That's right, guys. We're not going to be carrying any water with us. And really, this is just so that I can kind of test myself a little bit more, hone my skills just a little bit more. I'll be uh, building a fire. And I may actually uh, use the solo stove to boil up this water and just see how well this works with the stove itself and uh, you know soon basically as soon as we get up there we're gonna get the stove going or we'll boil some water and I'm gonna show you guys of course how I'm going to do this how I'm going to cool it down all that good stuff and uh, yeah should be a pretty good time and of course by not having any water in this I'm saving a ton of weight I mean like I said this pack fully loaded is only 17 pounds and of course if I wanted to I can go any, even lower so not too shabby, guys. All right, guys, we've basically gone over all the gear. So I'll put it here on the couch and go over it one more quick time for you and just point everything out. So starting over here from left to right, we have our ProLite Plus Thermarest sleeping pad, self-inflating, 3.8 R value, a little bit more than one pound, very awesome. Miscellaneous kit, all the typical stuff that you guys have seen before. Our food bag, same stuff you guys seen before. Fire kit. Basically the same stuff you guys have seen before. Of course we have this new, it's a little frying pan. Non-stick surface. Doesn't look too bad. We'll test that out. We do have our solo stove with Primus cook set. Pretty excited to test that out too. The Nemo Meta footprint pole. 
uh, long sleeve shirt for at night time or in the morning. We have our Kelty bag, which I'm pretty dang impressed with so far. Talk about a good bang for the buck, at least in appearances so far. We'll see. We have our La Fuma sleeping bag. This is the GR 40 degrees. Then of course we have our Mora bushcraft knife. Cannot wait to test this out. 32 ounce stainless steel Pathfinder canteen. And we do have the bottle holder. That is pretty handy right there, let me tell you. Blackberry playbook. That's it. All right guys, for our gear, that's pretty much the loadout. Now for this video and the sake of this overnight adventure, uh, you know, basically I just picked kind of gear that I wanted to take and I didn't actually get any influences from you guys. But you know, as I said before, that is coming. The website should be up yeah, within the next week or two weeks, something like that. And once I get that set up, then we'll really have the ability to allow you guys to have some say so in the type of gear, uh, you know, food choices possibly, the type of uh, overnight adventures that we go on, so on, so forth. So that's definitely in the works. It's coming, guys, and it's going to be awesome, I think. Guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I appreciate all your support, guys. Be well. We'll talk soon.